walks near the yard. I mean, the guy is, I mean, and he's shameless. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, we're waiting for the parole board to come back in. We were given about four and a half minutes ago, we were given a five minute warning, and sure enough, to the letter, here comes the parole board. If we switch to the split screen, and there you can see it, the parole board is coming in. Let's keep listening to OJ. Watch for reactions. But there's some kind of ice cream story he's thrown in now. Kind of like President Trump, you know? Trump gets two scoops, everyone else gets one. I think it's something like that. I heard that. Something ridiculous. I swear, I wanted to say that. And I'm talking to space again, but this cutting and line that I get, oh, God. Man, if I taken some stuff from all the guys about that, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, Mike Tyson couldn't cut in line in prison. I mean, seriously, who cuts a line in prison, man? You find yourself six feet under. <laughs> <laughs> Face laughing well, you guys, I, I may say something publicly after that, but I'm glad I have you on here because Mr. Simpson's always. I, 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 um, Parole hearing on Orenthal James Simpson back into order. Um, are we ready to vote? <laughs> Chairman Bisbee, I'll start off. Mr. Simpson, you organized this crime in which two victims were robbed at gunpoint. It was a serious crime and there was no excuse for it. <laughs> you deserve to be sent to prison. You have been in prison now almost nine years, the minimum amount imposed by the court. You have complied with the rules of the prison. You have programmed in an acceptable manner. You have no prior conviction of criminal activity. You are a low risk to reoffend on our guidelines. You have community support and stable release plans. We've heard from you and from your victim. The question here, as with all parole hearings, is whether or not you have served enough time in prison on this case. Considering all of these factors, my vote is to grant your parole effective when eligible. Thank you. And I concur with Commissioner Corda and grant parole. And in addition, our decision, although difficult, is fair and just. I concur with Commissioner uh, Corda and agree to grant parole. Um, Mr. Simpson, before I cast my vote, um, I want to let you know that we believe that we're a fair board. We believe that we're a consistent board. Um, I will let you know that that consistency also goes to parole, and um, we do not look kindly upon parole violations um, and if I cast my vote to grant and, the, and it concludes the hearing uh, our expectation would be that you not violate even the simplest condition of parole. Having said that um, I am prepared to cast a vote. I am prepared to ask the commissioners to set conditions um, if, if that happens. Um, we will produce an order sometime in the next 15 to 20 minutes that will be faxed to you or presented to you at the institution, and it will become a public record. So based on all of that, um, Mr. Simpson, I do vote to grant parole when eligible, and that will conclude this hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 